In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the CSAT capability built into Jira Service Management. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And don't forget to check out the links down below as you will find links to my merch store, my paid courses, my free courses, and most importantly, links to the sponsors that make these videos possible. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. This video is sponsored by Release Team. All right, so here we are inside of Jira. In today's video, we are gonna be going to a Jira service management project, and I'm gonna show you what I think is a pretty cool feature. So I'm gonna to go to this demo service project, and the thing that I'm gonna to explain to you is called the CSAT survey. Now, what exactly is a CSAT survey? Well, I'm so glad you asked. So we're just gonna do a simple Google search for CSAT, and here's an article from Atlassian, and it's for collecting customer satisfaction feedback. Essentially, it's just a little survey that you can put in your Jira tickets so that when somebody finishes, when one of your agents finishes a request, the customer is gonna get like a little ability to rate their experience. Now it is very, very subtle. I almost never use it, but I know that feedback is important in this world that we live in. And so I figured I'd make this video to show you how you don't have to go and get like a third party tool. You can just use the basics of JSM to do it in the environment that you're already in. Now, I do also want to make this video because there's a severe amount of limitations here. So I want you to understand what's possible within the world of JSM built in, cooked into the product, so that if you need to decide, hmm, is this good enough? Or do we need to go do like a survey monkey or something like that? Well, then you know the differences from this video. So back on the Jira side, we're going to go down to our project settings, and then we're going to look for the word satisfaction. I wish they would have had this consistency. I think it would have been cooler if it just said CSAT because then you can you know, link it all in your brain together. But that is not the case. So we're going to be looking for satisfaction setting and you're going to be able to click on that. And when you click on that, you will be able to turn on your CSAT or turn it off. Turning it off is easy and turning it on is even easier. So you just toggle this toggle. And then here's what it looks like. This is all you get, which I think is a miss. I think this should be a customizable item that you can do within JSM, but it's not. So all that's going to happen is when you turn on this CSAT capability, the survey is going to go out and this is the preview. So it's just going to say, how was our service for this request? And you get to rate it from very poor all the way up to very, very good. And that's it. So that's all you're going to get. Now, as people fill it out, you will be able to click on the satisfaction report, which will then take you back into your project under reports. There's going to be a satisfaction section and all of those survey results are going to be piled up in this section. You can see the last seven days, last 48 hours, 14 days, 30 days, quarter, year, or a custom range of your choosing so you can pick whatever you want to see there. And now for a quick word from our sponsor. For nearly 25 years, Release Team has been helping organizations of all sizes to adapt and improve their software development environments. We have experience with a wide range of tools from modern solutions like Jira Service Management to legacy and open source options. Let our experts help you with your next project. Release team, we are DevOps tool specialists. Make sure you check out the link down in the description down below so you can get a hold of release team. Now again, this is very, very basic. I don't know that I would ever actually use this, but if you are looking for something just super, super like, hey, th give us a thumbs up or give us a thumbs down depending on how we did, this satisfaction setting for the CSAT is going to be the thing that's going to work for you. And again, it's already built into Jira. All you got to do is slide that little toggle and Jira takes care of the rest. But if you're looking for something a little bit more grandiose, a little bit more sophisticated, then you definitely have to look at a third party solution. I'm not sure if there's anything in the marketplace, but there's things like SurveyMonkey that you can basically take your users out. And through some automation rules, you could definitely, when the request goes to done, you can have an email go out to the reporter and basically include like the URL to your survey monkey or something like that. So it is definitely possible to utilize like a third party tool if this basic built in functionality is not what you need. But hopefully, fingers crossed, this is more than enough for you and just turn it on and let it go. And as people fill them out, all those results are just going to show up in here and it's going to be awesome. And it's going to be perfect. And you're going to be able to have that little extra context as to how are your agents doing? Are, is your 
customer base satisfied, not so satisfied, or somewhere in between. So that's it for this video. In the comment section, let me know. Are you using the CSAT functionality? How or is the basic too basic for you? Would it be cooler to be able to, you know, maybe customize it, maybe maybe leverage the forms. I think that would be a pretty cool feature if at lasting allowed us to bring in some of that form information that we can create and be able to put it in our CSATs because then you can, you can get a little bit more creative because in this world, like I mentioned at the beginning, feedback is very, very critical and being able to customize that CSAT so that we can add a, maybe extra questions or just the form or some emojis, right? I think it would make this functionality that much better. And I know Atlassian's investing a lot of energy and time into the ITSM solution. So maybe in the future, they will expand on this. So let me know in the comment section if this basic one would be something you would find valuable, or if you think that Atlassian should add a couple more capabilities to make this even more valuable. And then finally in the comment section, let me know if you don't even care for this, and CSAT is not something that you guys even use, or also let me know if using like a survey monkey is something that would be interesting to you because I definitely can make a video showing you how to send those automation rules so that those feedbacks are sent maybe through a third party, but still be able to collect that valuable information. Today's tutorial is brought to you by the DevOps tool specialist at Release Team. Successful DevOps requires a balance of people, processes, and tools. Release Team's experts can help you succeed at every step along that journey. Our expert staff will work with you to understand your unique needs, explore your options, and deliver a solution tailored to your objectives and culture. Visit releaseteam.com today to see how we can help you realize your DevOps goals. So again, this is the end of the video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, make sure you share this video, and most importantly, check out those links down below because if you've ever wondered, how can I help support this amazing channel with all this free content? Well, the links are down below. I got free courses, I got paid courses, I got merch, and I got sponsors that make these videos possible. So go check out their apps, start a free 30-day trial, and I'll see you in the next one. So